Children who are crazy for science are now banding together here at the Mount Prospect Public Library to learn more about this exhilarating subject. Let's look in on a stimulating youth services series known as the Mad Scientist Club. It's 4.30 on a Wednesday afternoon, and 19 intermediate grade students are gathering for an after-school library program designed to encourage enthusiasm for science. They're kids who are, are you know, interested in, high school, in, in science in school, um, but want another uh, avenue, another outlet to really explore it. Youth librarians Brad Jones and Carrie Bramwell collaborate in obtaining and presenting materials for this library series. The opportunity came up to write a grant through the IEEE -E -E Chicago section and uh, luckily we won this grant so with the grant money we bought um, seven different science kits which we're calling the science to go kits and uh, we incorporated them into the uh, Mad Scientist Club programs. So it was a way for us to showcase the new science kits with the kids and to get them some hands-on experience with them. The seven science kits utilized in the Mad Scientist Club span a number of topics. Several of them are uh, electrical, electrical engineering. One is for flight. There's a, a Legos uh, mechanical engineering set. There are several uh, circuit sets. Then one is the, uh, the Van der Graaff generator, which is an, a static electricity generator, the kind you've probably seen before you put your hand on it and it makes your hair stand up. This edition of the Mad Scientist Club explores the complexities of electricity. It's just all around us. It's something that's everywhere that kids don't really know a lot about and it's an exciting entryway into other forms of science and it's something that's really um, has some, well, spark, for lack of a better word. It's, it's exciting. You can make really neat, interactive things with it. We set up the Van de Graaff generator, and we explained a little bit about static electricity, what it is, and we did some experiments with the generator, one of which we, uh, we stacked up tin pie plates on top of the static electricity generator and plugged it in, and when the static electricity is generated, they fly off one at a time as if they're being flung around by a ghost. And then for our hands-on project with the kids, we, uh, we created uh, working flashlights out of a couple of batteries, a, a paper tube, a light bulb, and some wires. Um, and I think that was really exciting for the kids because they're, you know, they're surrounded by all this technology all the time, and they, for the most part, it's a mystery to them. So this was a way for them to get some hands-on experience and actually build a working contraption, a simple one, but still a working one and have that sense of accomplishment and, and kind of ownership about it electricity. These hands-on projects help bolster interest in a favorite subject. It feeds on that excitement that kids at that age naturally have and they're ready to explore so it gives them uh, the tools and the opportunity to do that kind of exploration and, and in a context outside of school and it also I think it, it shows them the kind of uh, resources that are available at the library that it's not just books and movies that there are lots of things that are going on. It's a real way to get um, this excitement about science and electrical engineering and other kinds of engineering and science, to get that excitement out into the community and to make these kits available. And they're available for um, homeschoolers, for scout leaders, for classroom teachers. These people can come in and check out these, these rather you know, sizable electronic pieces of equipment. And then they can set up um, experiments, they can do demonstrations for their groups. Science Kid checkout information may be obtained by contacting the Mount Prospect Public Library Youth Services Department at area code 847-253-5675. And look for the next event in the Mad Scientist Club series coming up in the spring of 2011.